just stick with me, and everything will be okay. You're my hero. You'll protect me. Did somebody say protection? Oh, God, just take the girl and leave me alone. <laughs> that sucker fell right into my trap. And you've activated my trap card. Hey, Rangers, welcome to Super Mario Reviews. My name's Steve. My name is Arnaz. And today we're going over the Funko Fire Nights at Freddy's Wave 2 Nightmare Foxy. This is from the video game Five Nights at Freddy's 4. If you guys haven't played it, super sweet video game. And I'm very excited to be adding the Nightmare animatronics to my collection. These videos are starting to sound repetitive for the intros. Yeah, they are. So we'll make it up a little different. I'm going to enjoy doing this, guy, Steve. But, but it's mine. I got this. Ow! <laughs> I'm doing it. What's wrong with you? That's a collectible. He had me a phone time Foxy. Can you believe that? Yeah. I can't oh, believe it. Oh, you just told him what the next video is, Steve. Crazy. And if you guys are super excited about seeing that video, it'll already be up on our website, www.superimportviews.com. But anyways, without further ado, for Nightmare Foxy's packaging, you can see him inside of the package very nicely. You got Freddy at the top from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Uh, so that's Five Nights at Freddy's at the top. If you collect all five of the figures, you can build Nightmarionette yourself. The rest of the package is primarily translucent on the front. But on the back tells you everybody else that you can collect inside a line and some Lego mumbo jumbo. So let's get him open up out of his plastic prison. All right, now that we got night. Wait, whoa, whoa, why am I not in the chair? I've done all these other ones. Because you've been replaced, Steve. But you can't replace this. I'm the face that runs the place. You've been replaced by the great one. Just get used to it. Oh, making wrestling references. <sighs> I need a belt in my hand right now. Hold on, I can go get one. <laughs> so now that we got Nightmare Foxy out of his plastic cardboard cardboard plastic? plastic plastic prison cardboard plastic prison okay changing things up on the fly yeah why not right he's different it's Foxy yeah he's allowed to be different so now going over his one accessory he comes with the left hand and just like the other ones exactly the same a little twist in it some colors and three yeah, he actually has little Fingers. fingertips on this one. Nothing too impressive. We will be doing the video where we put it all together. Marionette, or Marion. Somebody already corrected me. I just called Marionette. He will have his own separate video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because you're going to have to cut that out, Steve. No, I'm not. But Steve, kids watch. It's not it. my fault I work with a kid. <laughs> <laughs> People say, since I have the toys, that I'm the childish one. <laughs> no, they got that wrong. I'm, I'm the childish sure. one. <laughs> All right, now for his closer details, we'll start with the head. Well, technically, we'll start with his ears. You can see the little animatronic sticking up here at the top. He's got the cool fox ears. Yeah, you can even see some of the wires poking out. And then we're going down his head. He's got the Harry Potter scar, which I don't... He's the child of prophecy. <laughs> I guess he's the chosen one over here. For his eye sockets? They're huge. Yep, they're also orange for his uh, optics. God, his eye sockets are weird. I just noticed that. <laughs> they bug out a bit. They're also <laughs> sunk in. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. And for his teeth are white, right? Yeah, they look kind of white on that one. Most of the other animatronics were uh, metallic silver. Nope, he's got some pearly whites there. He brushes. Good guy. High five, buddy. He yeah. He goes to the dentist. <laughs> he's a role model for the children. Yeah, good job, buddy. I do like how the um, suit's missing up here on his nose. Mm hmm Looks... Oh, yeah, you can see the, uh, the black and the animatronic right there, which is really nice. Going down to his chest. This is deteriorating more than it was on the original. Is it really? Yeah. It's a little more dramatic than uh, the original, but still. <laughs> like he's definitely missing a lot more of that lower chest area. But did he repair himself over time, though? Because look at the chest piece here. Yeah, like that part's fixed and on that here. one. I don't know. It's some kid's nightmares. What do you want from me? Oh, his hair is missing. I just noticed that. Yeah, he doesn't have his little cowlick on the top of his head. Oh, well, here you go. You can have this monstrosity back. That should be the Nightmare one. So for his chest piece, it's a little different than the original, which I like it. It just shows how old it is. Yeah, because technically he's missing little hairs on his shoulders too. Yeah. We're going to go with his hook arm first. A um, lot of deterioration right here. Going up to the hook. It's black here and then silver up here. 
but the hook itself is made out of like soft plastic so you can like bend it so you don't have to worry about that. It's also an upgrade compared to the original because old Foxy just has a little hook and a little stump there. Well, he actually has like what you would think you would see out of like the Halloween aisle. Yeah. Like you actually like stick your hand inside of the hook and hold on to it. That's what that reminds me of. And then for his normal arms, just regular same old thing. Nothing too special about it. Also, he doesn't have the pirate patch. Oh, yeah. Hey, thanks for reminding me, Steve. Yeah, cool. it wasn't like that on the other one either, but I'm just saying. Compared to the original. So, wait a minute. This guy had actually a lot of upgrades done to him. His chest, his eye. Yeah. He's got so much more going on. Somebody fixed him. For his back, this is where I start disliking this figure a little bit. Just because we get to the same old stuff. Super shiny and glossy normal paint and it's i know it's just like all the other ones but it's just starting to bug me a lot as we go through these reviews because especially in a light you can see it a lot mm -hmm. going down to his crotch area i feel like if you i like to call him the pants but okay <laughs> kid here steve come on he's also the only animatronic that wears pants is he really what are you trying to hide there, buddy? He's the only one with something worth hiding. Oh! <laughs> oh, and for his back area, you can see the animatronic sticking out from his shorts. I'm gonna call them shorts. Yeah, that's what they look like. shorts. You get down here to his uh, little shiny toes, and he's got four of them, right? That one has two only? Yep. And they're actually pointed, but that's kind of like the track from the nightmares. They're a little bit more scary, so. And the back of it, just like the front, nothing different. Bottom, just some legal mumbo jumbo. So now for his articulations, his ears have none, so don't do what I'm doing here. Yeah, please don't break my box. <laughs> Why would it have our ear articulation on us? I don't know. I would just expect it. If they look like you can move them. Yes, the square, the rectangle peg there looks like it totally can rotate around. You, you want me to try it? No. His head can go all the way around. But when he gets to the shoulder right here, it does get a little hinder spot, but it can still make it. He can swivel a little bit about that much and down about that much. Whereas both of his arms are the same. So we'll go with this one. He can go... Oh, maybe not. Okay, he can't go all the way around, but he can rotate about that much. Shoulder pads get in the way right there. About there. Yeah, actually, uh, for Foxy, he's probably the most articulated of the uh, the bunch here. The elbow. Especially with the arms. And the legs. Go up and down, all the way around. Hand, same thing. There's no actual, like, swivel to it. It's just stuck there. On this arm, it's just exactly the same except the hook, but the hook is stuck on there, and it cannot move. Which is a little depressing. I would like to be able to articulate that a little bit more. But yeah, I wish the hook was at least, you know, turn it around at the actual hook part. For his chest, he can go all the way around. Legs, let me see if he can... Nope, not unless I hold him right here like this. Oh, God! Oh, no! <laughs> he was trying to do the Matrix, his leg fall off. I'm sorry. Oh, my God, are his joints really this stiff? Yeah, on him it is. Oh, uh, they don't really go that far forward and back. What if he moved to his <sighs> knees? No, I'm seriously like having a hard time moving this thing. I feel like I'm going to break it. Yeah, he's got a lot of friction. But his knees... Pop off. Okay, the other side. <laughs> but for his knee, he can go about... He can go about that much. Okay, now I got him fixed for his knees. He can go about that much back. Okay, you can't really go too much forward. I say yeah. about that much. Because it'll start popping off. You can twist it all the way around. He's got a good little kick going on here. Mm -hmm. And nothing really at the feet. Yeah, sorry you guys. And for some quick comparisons here, he's next to the Funko's original Five Nights at Freddy's Foxy and Sad Panda. Uh, I think his official name is Golden Freddy. But look, he's even looking to the side and he's super sad. He's looking out for Woody. I would be too. <laughs> and for some other comparisons here, he's next to Funtime Foxy and Arnold, right? Nightmare Bonnie. Close, close though. And here he is with some McFarlane construction set minis from Five Nights at Freddy's with Normal Foxy and Phantom Foxy. Steve, why are we comparing him next to Halo? 
Because it's a, another really great video game franchise. You know, yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're right. That is such a good comparison. Both games are so good, Steve. Because what we have here is the McFarlane Master Chief in Cryosleep and Cortana from Halo 4. Hey, Cortana, volume up on my Xbox, damn it. I don't even have her activated on my. <laughs> <laughs> so, for our final thoughts on uh, Nightmare Foxy, I actually like him, but then yet again, I like all the other Foxies, so I feel like my opinion on him is a little biased, unfair. But I do like how his hook is actually huge improvement over the other ones. I don't know if I... Eh, you know what? I'll take it back. I like his legs because all the Foxies are that way. Um, I have a little problem with his mouth, his teeth. They're white. I think they should be silver-ish at yeah, least. To, yeah, to go with the animatronic, it would be a lot better. Yeah. It would also be nice if his mouth wasn't articulated. But, eh, beggars can't be choosers. It is... A fairly inexpensive action figure. Yeah, I think it's great. It's a nice improvement over the original Foxy with uh, the articulation. They do stay, the joints do stay on a little bit better. Even though what we showed in the video, the legs were popping off pretty good on this one. <laughs> but I think I was just having way too much fun with that, though. But yeah, but on the other Foxy, everything pops off, so whatever. Huge improvement. And it's just the nightmare, guys. Like, you can't really complain. Like, they just look cool, look scary, like how the animatronics should appear. Overall, it's a great buy. Yep, definitely worth the $12.99. But what do you guys think of the Funko Five Nights at Freddy's Nightmare Foxy? What's your favorite animatronic of the series? Or is Gears of War just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. We'll post a picture of this guy on our website if you want to click the link in the description below. Also on our website, we'll already have the next review out in the Five Nights at Freddy's series with that being Funtime Foxy. So if you guys want to go check out the review in advance, go check out the website. Link down in the description as well. We also have our Patreon account if you want us to help support the channel. Also down there. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe, become a ranger today, and see you guys in the next video. Bye, boy. Bye. Bye.